and I want to injure the opponent. But still, this is something that I would really only use against a computer since, well, it's just not nice doing that to uh, another human being. You know, it's their team. They care about it. <laughs> so, here's a turnover. So now I have these two that uh, can cause a problem. It's the computer's last turn. So as long as the computer doesn't throw and get lucky, it's over. Sadly, the computer does not seem to realize how close the game is to uh, the halftime or the end. So sometimes when the, the computer should advance and should push forward, they just sit back. Uh, that is something they really need to uh, improve with the AI. Well, anyway, you don't necessarily see those uh, problems uh, when uh, facing a human opponent. So here I am stuck with not being able to score. Sadly, I can't click on the player since it's a replay, and I can't show you just how far they can get. So here again, I missed. There was only one chance that I would would have been able to uh, to score was to succeed with my blitz. Then my lineman who was behind just run through the tackle zones grab the ball of course I would have had to put uh, my player was in the the end zone back up and then pick up the ball with the, the other guy and try a crazy pass and probably would have gotten intercepted even if I had gotten as far as just picking the ball up and you know sometimes you have to take chances but th this time now, nah. I did not like my chances, especially with no rerolls. Oh, that's fun. Usually I don't get to see the action uh, from this point of view. So, I did get some uh, a bit lucky here, since uh, the spectators threw a, a rock at, at the other team and, heck, hurt them. Uh, but the apothecary did his job and she came back right there. So after uh, the first touchdown, she'll be back. However, I was able to do a good job against uh, the front line. And here you can see the first injury caused by my team. So Gedlin gets two points two star player points for causing the injury. So, so far, I don't have anything, uh, any other uh, star player points earned. So, just a reminder that you can earn them by injuring uh, an opponent, or killing them, of course, passing a ball, or uh, scoring a touchdown, intercepting a ball. Here, I tried to get an easy point uh, star player point and I fumbled the pass which is a bit unusual considering these two guys have four agility each anyway but it's uh, something I will try to do uh, once in a while if I get the chance because star player points are not easy to come by of course so y you grab them wh whenever you can The computer tried something stupid here. You know, you only the only time you should really try to run through a defensive line is when you're desperate. Otherwise, it's really too dangerous to get a turnover. And here she dodged, except that I put her right next to my other player and center into the the stands. K.O. player 
uh, decent chance that she won't be able to come back after the next touchdown. I don't remember if I tried to pass again. Yes, I did. So, let's see. Who was it? Fino got his first star player point, uh, star player point as well. Now this guy is a bit in a, is in a bit of trouble. If it were me, you know, I would just bring her right here and then block him and send him here, whether he falls to the ground or not. This way, it puts the adversary in a difficult uh, position, and they need to to decide whether or not they want to risk dodging out of your tackle zones or staying there and get thrown into the stands. So it really depends on the situation, but most of the time people really don't like to be uh, on the sidelines and will try to get out of there, if only to avoid being thrown into the stands. So I dodged here. The assassin uh, during the game did a pretty good job. Sure, sometimes his stab didn't work, but I think that in general it was pretty useful. Uh, stunned quite a few players. Uh, of course, you know you always cross your fingers and hope for an injury, a really nasty injury. I, I in fact, I prefer nasty injuries to deaths. What, well, against the computer here. There's a good reason for that. Well, take for example um, a Chaos Warrior uh, who has four strength and three uh, agility. Now, let's say that they get a smash collarbone. They would lose one strength. So that's three strength. So if you had killed them, he would have been replaced by a new one with four strength and three agility. Except you end up uh, in this situation, you end up with a kind of crippled chaos warrior, and that's definitely a good thing for you because the computer tends not to get rid of those players. Uh, in my undead uh, campaign, I think. There was one Dark Elf team that had three players down to two strength. It was a bit ridiculous. Uh, if something like that happens to my team, I just cut the guy right away. Why? Because he costs money. And he just doesn't have the stats to, uh, to justify uh, giving him that money. Now, there are some some exceptions to that uh, that rule. Uh, let's say that uh, we're talking about a necromantic team and we have flash golems who have four strength and two agility. Let's just say that one of those uh, flash golems gets injured and loses one agility. He ends up at one. Well here it's a player who uh, whose main uh, um, uh, whose main advantage is his strength. So agility, you know, the, it does not justify cutting him. As you can see, I was able to score. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Malivorn. So this guy got three points. So he's one touchdown away from getting a level. So one nothing with four turns left. So here I was able to dodge, but I don't really like this. Now the computer is stacking the left side of the pitch. Thankfully, the computer already used his blitz, so there's that uh, you do, well, I don't have to worry about that at least. So because of this turnover I'm in pretty nice shape. I was able to stun this uh, this girl 
and I'm sending my guys here just in case the computer tries to go along the sideline. I don't remember if Kevin uh, used a stab action or not. We'll, we'll know soon enough. I guess he had, since I used this guy. So now I'm in, I'm not in complete control, but still in good position defensively. However, now there's the middle of this of the field that's free. I, in retrospect, I would I should have left my guy right there. Because when you open up the field, it 